So I want to tell you about the number one commonality of the couples who sign up for marriage coaching with me. Ready? Here it is. They've been keeping their finances separate. They've never combined the money they each make. And they refer to this money as his and hers rather than ours, as it should be. There's an overarching theme of couples who succeed at marriage, and that is that they are moving in the same direction. They are a team. Whether the topic is parental discipline, work family arrangements, or how to handle money, the couples who are the most successful are aligned in these areas. These marriages are just exponentially stronger. That's why the single best thing you can do for your marriage is to become a financial team. So what does that look like? Well, here's what it doesn't look like. It doesn't mean hiding purchases from your spouse. It doesn't mean one person manages the finances solely by him or herself while the other person is out of the loop entirely. It's okay to have one person taking care of the actual bill paying, but you should be sitting down on a regular basis to discuss not just your purchases, but your goals and your dreams and your plans for the future. And it certainly doesn't mean having his and her bank accounts. In fact, I would go so far as to say that if you're married, but you never combine bank accounts, you're not really married. You're just roommates sharing space. The real reason so many millennials in particular don't combine their finances and why some even sign prenups is because they're mentally preparing for the demise of their marriage. They've seen so many divorces and they're scared. That's what really what this comes down to is fear and an inability to trust, which is really the huge underpinning of why they're not combining the finances, hence the marital problems. They may not think of it consciously this way, but that's what they're doing, which means they're not all in. And if you're not all in, you're not going to make it. You cannot succeed at something if you have one foot out the door. So I'm going to say it again. The single best thing you can do for your marriage is to become a financial team. When you do that, your marriage becomes significantly more, and here's an interesting word, intimate. Financial intimacy is actually a thing, and it will do as much, if not more, for your marriage than sexual intimacy. There's just something about knowing your spouse is moving through his or her day the same way you are when it comes to money. You can relax knowing your cash flow and your plans for the future are not being undermined by your spouse. That's huge. If you do not feel this way, your marriage is in trouble. And I would encourage you to get help from somebody somewhere so that you can get on the same team.